Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 29. And when Yah, your Elohim, does cut off from before you the nations, those nations that they were going in to dispossess, which you go to dispossess and you dispossess them and dwell in their land, verse 30, guard yourself, be careful, that you are not ensnared to follow them, to follow their ways after they are destroyed from before you and that you do not inquire about their mighty ones saying, how did these nations serve their mighty ones and let me do so too? Now this is not talking about you're inquiring about serving the false deities of those nations that you dispossess. This is talking about asking about how did they serve their false deities and then bringing those practices into your worship of Abba Yah. Abba Yah does not want to be worshipped in the manner that those nations worship their false deities. He has a pure form of worship as defined by Torah. That's how he wants to be worshipped. Look at verse 31. Do not do so to Yah your Elohim. For every abomination which Yah hates, they have done to their mighty ones. For they even burn their sons and daughters in the fire to their mighty ones. Verse 32, all the words I am commanding you, guard to do it, do not add to it nor take away from it. He's saying don't inquire of those nations how they worship their false deities and then come and want to worship me in the same way. He's saying it's an abomination. What they did is an abomination. The way they serve their false deities, that's an abomination to me. Don't come trying to worship me in the same manner as they. He says, all the words that I'm commanding you, guard to do it. In other words, worship me in the way that I define through my Torah. Do not add to it, nor take away from it. No mixture. Don't, don't mix in things, traditions, pagan ways, pagan holidays. Don't mix them in. Keep them out. Do not add to my Torah, my, my word, and do not take away from it.